Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. It is a windy day here. We're gonna go do some tillage work first thing and then we are going to uh, do a little bit more mechanical work here on the farm. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice cold start. So we're going to go over, and a lot of you guys might be asking, Seth, you guys are no tillers, why are you doing tillage? <laughs> That's a great question. So next year our soybeans, our conventional soybeans are still going to be no-tilled. Um, we're going to just be planting a cereal rye cover crop this fall. We're not going to be um, trying to roll or crimp that next year. We're probably going to plant a lower rate and we're just going to spray it. We have been having terrible success rates with roller crimping, uh, yield hits, seeing a lot of nitrogen being tied up. So we are going to have rye, spray it, be done with it. That's gonna be our no-till beans. We might only have a few areas of no-till corn next year because um, most of our fields need smoothed up. They're going to be getting field cultivated uh, we are doing some inline ripping this fall because we have compaction problems we've got to take care of. Um, basically, we're trying to get the farm prepped and ready, uh, a little bit more of an active state to get into the organic side. So, we've got our slightly weedy mess of transitional beans that we're going to be harvesting hopefully tomorrow. See them right there. Don't look too hot, but when you get out into the field, they actually look a lot better. We have bought some more tools that are going to hopefully help us next year get rid of a lot of that those weeds. Um, we went and got a tine weeder. For those of you who don't know what a tine weeder is, I will be showing you guys that a lot more in depth uh, and hopefully using it a lot next spring. Um, we're getting our Kubota set up with auto steer and we're putting that in on 30 inch rows. We just got the kit ordered to narrow the front axle up. That way um, we are able to use that for tine weeding and rotary hoeing. Um, those are going to be our main forms of early season blind cultivation and weed control. All right, most important part of checking out a tractor, make sure it's ready to go. And So we're just going to do a quick visual check to make sure everything on the ripper is good. Okay. That looks good. 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 All right. Let's jump in the tractor, let it warm up a little bit more and we'll take off. So this tractor decided that it wanted new rear tires. Um, the rear tires on it were actually original. They were from 1990, uh, so 32 years old now. And the inside one rubbed a hole in the tube. So we knew it would just keep happening because the liner was cracked. So it got four new rear tires because it had had new tires on the front not very long ago. Yes, I know they don't match, but that's because that tire is no longer made by Titan. Um, those are a set of BKTs. They look pretty good. I think they're going to do their job just fine. I'll fire up my auto steer. So this tractor just got auto steer put in it. It's really nice. We used one of our Trimble 750 screens. Um, the easy steer out of our old 1660 combine. Seems like it should work pretty good.
I've got 23 acres done. I'm going to go to about 27 or 28 and then double back and do uh, what I, because I'm going every other round right now. Basically, you might be wondering why I'm not doing the whole field. We're doing strips, so we're going to do along the road, leave a strip. We're going to do here, leave a strip. Those strips that we're leaving, we're going to go back and use uh, a spikes compaction removal device called an airway that we have. Then we're also going to leave a blank check strip. We're going to hopefully see if there's any yield difference next fall when it comes to those. If we do see a yield difference, it'll kind of help us make decisions in the future as far as what we do. Okay, we're busting along here. Got 32 and a half acres done. Uh, we got one more pass through to make. We're going to rip the end rows and then go hook up to the airway. So, we rolled it. Rolling right now. Definitely goes faster when you can be ripping in between six and six and a half mile an hour. Still only 12 and a half feet at a time, but hey, you can get work done. We're in the four wheel drive now. We've got the airway hooked up. Um, ended up figuring out how to get that on. We're gonna run out to the field and do that. I'm headed back up to the shed because one of these cylinders is bad on the airway. It's leaking back there. Don't wanna run that tractor out of hydraulic fluid or anything. So we're gonna take it up, unhook it, and probably just forget about airway and the rest of it. Go take off with the disc. So anyhow, it's a bummer, but it works. So we have some oats that were in a bin and we're now cleaning them for cover crop seed. So, we got the grain cleaner out, the oats. We've never used oats in the grain cleaner. We've never used the grain cleaner, so we'll see how this goes. I would love to fly the drone for you guys, but it's like a windstorm out there. So this is a view you get to see. Okay, pardon the squeaking from the uh, auto steer. I'm kind of unimpressed with how much it's squeaking. It is just slightly annoying. We're disking along pretty good. I've done 26 acres. Oh, shut up. All the neighbors have turned their lights on, so it's uh, finally time to do the inaugural light switch. Okay. 
I went and ate supper. I'm back out here in the tractor now. If you'll notice, it's not squeaking anymore. There was actually two loose bolts on the steering column. Drove me absolutely bonkers and I found it. And now, it's quiet in here again. So much better. The steering motor is not shaking. I'm just excited because it's so much better. It's unbelievable how much better it is. And I'm on my last pass here. I've done 57 acres in this field since five o'clock. It's now 10 o'clock, but I did take an hour for supper. So that puts me at four hours for this field. Not crazy productivity, but also for a 16 foot implement, not too bad. So we're just cruising up through here, wrapping up the last bit of this water, or last bit of this endro, and then we'll be done for the night. I'm gonna go up and fill her up with fuel. All right. Time to fill her up. Let's see how much she takes. I'm gonna pull the cap off. I get my hands dirty late at night. What's it matter? And we wait here for probably like 15 minutes while that thing's filling up. While we're letting the tractor cool off and fill up, I'm gonna go start my truck and turn the heated seat on. It's probably gonna be cold in here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, a little bit of oat cleaning, a whole lot of tillage, not a whole lot. A lot of guys would laugh. But anyways, we got a total of 40 something acres ripped. Disc and another 55. I would say all in all, that was a fairly successful day. Uh, a few minor glitches here and there. I unhooked from the airway because it had a blown hydraulic cylinder. Um, but anyhow, we are good to go now. I'm gonna go home, go to bed, cause I'm tired. I'll see y'all maybe in the morning, maybe 15,000 days from now. I don't know, see ya, bye.